so yesterday was a big day, I guess. Um, crossed into New Mexico, so last state. Um, so far, New Mexico has been pretty chill train wise and lots of trees which is really cool um, yeah last state I guess it's kind of bittersweet ready to be done but it's always sad endings um, But it'll be nice to get back to North Carolina where it's not 17 degrees. I was really hoping, you know, getting to New Mexico, that it would be a lot warmer. Well, maybe not a lot warmer, but at least a little bit definitely thought that I would be out of the snow but I snowed crossing into New Mexico and it snowed again last night not much just a dusting um, enough to make everything look pretty um, it's not so much the snow that I'm bummed about but the, uh, the cold. But the next few days are supposed to be really sunny, like all sun, so it should warm up some. <sighs> There's the sun. <sighs> Warming us up. So, just a few days into New Mexico, and the scenery has changed quite a bit. Drop down, drop down a few thousand feet in elevation, and now we got cactuses and a lot of sagebrush and all these other plants and these really cool. I don't know if you can see it behind me. Just geological features. Um, yeah, it's pretty epic. One of my favorite things about being in the desert is always, there is always an amazing sunset, an amazing sunrise. Just check out these clouds over this way. Let's see who... Walking into uh, Cuba, heard there was quite a bit of road walking in New Mexico. Um, so got to get used to it. It's not that bad. Still got some cool views going on over there. Um, and there's some shade, and it's warm, so can't really complain about that. Things like 60. Six to maybe 70 degrees, something like that. So really nice to get all warm after being in Colorado, freezing my butt off. Taking an alternate to Pie Town. It's a little bit faster. Um, just on this dirt road. And I'm not quite sure if I would have been there's actually some mountains like over this way. Um, I'm not sure if the actual trail does that. What the actual trail does is it's actually like right over there. It like makes like a backwards B, like without the back line. It's just like kind of pointless, like just these loops. And I want some pie, so. Hustling down to Pie Town. Should be there tomorrow.
just got a view of the last town on the CDT. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's almost been four months. And I'm so close. The trail has been awesome. It's been challenging. I was thinking back to see to like a time in Colorado where you know first you had to climb up to the tallest point on the CDT, uh, Gray's Gray's Peak. And that was super challenging, and then you had this really tough ridge walk, and then, and then I got snowed on, and it was white out and super cold. And now I'm almost done finishing up, and it's sunny, it's warm, there's no snow. Probably can see Mexico. I know I'm going to miss it. After like a month of being home, maybe two weeks. But right now, right now I just can't wait to get to that monument. So, under a mile until the finish. It's funny, all my three hikes have ended like at exactly the right time. I'm sure I could keep going, but my legs are starting to feel it, my shoulders and Mentally, I mean, I don't know how much farther I could go. I'm sure I could go quite a bit farther, but why push it? Why not uh, stop when you're uh, still having fun? So, yeah, just like so many thoughts are rushing through my head at this moment. Thinking back to the start, wasn't sure why I was doing this hike. Like, I mean, obviously I wanted a triple crown, but I was wondering what I was like gonna get out of this hike. Cause on the AT and the PCT, I learned so many things. Um, and I'm sure in the coming weeks, like reflecting back on this experience, I may realize that I learned a lot too, but so far, I think the main thing is, it's something I already knew, but you know, life is short, so I don't need to get something out of this. You know, you just need to enjoy your life it's not gonna wait it's just not gonna wait around for you um, just gotta take advantage of your time as you have um, to paraphrase throw I mean he said I went to the woods to live deliberately 
to suck the marrow out of life and not when I come to die discover that I have not lived so just you know live life to the fullest whatever that might mean for you it would be great for this to be you know normal life but that's not completely feasible. So I think it's important to, you know, find adventure, find excitement, find purpose in like the day to day, the mundane. And just live with a spark. Yeah, I don't know. Just the ramblings of a very tired, very tired man. Four months to the day. This was my uh, fastest through hike of the three. But for some reason, it felt like it took the longest. I don't know if it was because it was the hardest or the most grand, but whatever it was, it feels good. be here oh. the end of the trail